jadi hari ini saya akan unboxing ini box yang dikirim sama Pita. Jadi di sini semua ada makanan-makanan Indonesia ya bumbu-bumbu. Jadi itu hari Pita lihat saya curhat guys di Instagram ya. Saya bilang bahwa itu uh, kecap bango yang saya beli itu botol besar itu sekitaran 18 dolar di Amazon ya belum termasuk ongkir guys. Jadi langsung dia tanya bilang kenapa tidak beli di Asian Store tapi di tempat saya di sini tidak ada Asian Asian Store sama sekali guys yang ada cuma Walmart, Mayer dan juga Target dan kalian tahu uh, Walmart dan juga Mayer mereka cuma jual seadanya bumbu-bumbu uh, Asia ya tapi bukan bumbu-bumbu Indonesia seperti yang kita punya. So sekarang kita akan unboxing ini uh, box dari Pita dalam hitungan ketiga one two three Oke, okay, sekarang kita sudah unboxing ini semua barang-barang guys By the way, tadi itu box yang kalian lihat guys Ini box ini bukan box yang dari Pita ya Cuma Mister itu hari terlanjur dia bakar guys Itu uh, box yang dari Pita itu besar Besar begini, lebar dan juga tinggi dari ini ya Dan itu box berat sekali bukan main Pokoknya isinya banyak di dalam seperti kalian lihat ini Walaupun ini sudah tidak lengkap karena kita sudah makan-makan Jadi ini bukan boxnya guys, ini cuma untuk pengantar bahan cerita Jadi saya akan setiap dia Ini semua yang dikirim sama Pita Kalian lihat, come closer baby Kalian lihat ini guys Ini barang-barang sudah habis Ini sudah kosong, ini Orion, Mister dengan saya, dengan Athena sudah plorot ya Yeah, and uh, we had a whole bunch of these, but they went really quick <laughs> Sekarang kita mulai dari pertama, di sini ada M150 Terus di belakang situ ada Sariwangi Ini kita sudah buka guys, tapi tadi sambil kembali ya untuk taruh di sini yang di bawah sini masih utuh, masih di plastik. Terus di sini ada lombok ABC, ada yang original dan juga ada hot and sweet chili sauce. Di sini ada kerupuk, kapal api. Terus di sini ada bumbu, bumbu uh, bubuk pala, bubuk lengkuas, um, cloves, cengkeh, dan juga bubuk kencur. Ini terus ini sambal bakso kalian lihat ini sudah di, <laughs> sudah di deh. Dari kulkas ini guys, saya ambil kembali. Ini juga sudah dibuka. Ini dan ini sama guys. Sambal gila ini enak sekali. Minta ampun astaga. Saya itu guys orangnya tidak terlalu gila dengan terasi ya. Tapi tidak benci juga guys. Jadi kalau ada masakan yang ada terasinya saya makan ya. Tapi kalau tidak ada saya juga tidak terlalu pusing. Karena saya tidak terlalu... Uh, karena saya tidak terlalu gila-gila dengan yang namanya terasi ya. Jadi saya tidak terlalu... I don't really care. Tapi ini barang-barang. <laughs> enak sekali. Ah, terus kuaci ini sudah... <laughs> Sudah dimakan-makan Beng-beng Seperti saya bilang tadi Ini sudah mau habis Itu sudah habis Tapi boxnya masih disimpan Untuk Apa itu kepentingan ini Video ini ada 12 atau ada 10 Kalau saya nggak salah ya Tapi sudah habis Langsung lenyap dalam waktu 4 hari Sudah lenyap banyak-banyak Ada dua kelinci Ada ini Ini saya mau bikin itu hari Tapi saya belum sempat Saya nggak mau bikin juga sekarang Karena saya mau ambil video dulu Dan nanti uh, Nanti kalau saya bikin Saya akan bikin videonya guys Dan kita bikin sama-sama ya Semoga jadi jadi kita akan melihat apakah saya akan sukses bikin ini cendol karena ini cendol makanan kesukaan saya waktu saya masih kecil. By the way di sini ada martabak. Mister bilang cepat mau ambil video saya sudah tidak sabar kok bikin beginian. <laughs> saya takut yang tidak jadi ya karena saya tidak terlalu pintar bikin begini tapi semoga sukses karena dia sudah tidak sabar sekali makan. Terus Garuda ada di sini dan kusuka. Ini saya mau sekali makan dari kemarin tapi saya belum buka-buka karena terlalu banyak yang dibuka guys. Jadi saya tidak buka dulu ya. Um, Apalagi namanya itu, oh iya saya lupa Dan juga ada teh kotak 3 pack Tapi sudah habis, lenyap Jadi oke, okay. macet Thank you so much buat kirimannya We really appreciate that a lot Yo, terima kasih guys Thank you That's a lot of stuff lot. And we've been going through it pretty quick <laughs> <laughs> Because we love it so much Especially the Indomie Tadi, tadi sebenarnya mau bikin lagi teh Tapi saya bilang jangan dulu, saya mau ambil video Terus uh, dia juga suruh saya bikin itu martabak, saya bilang, eh martabak terang bulan Tapi saya bilang, jangan lupa saya belum ambil video, jadi kita belum buka-buka Tapi setelah video ini kita akan bikin martabak uh, terang bulan dan juga kita akan bikin teh dan juga cendol guys Jadi kalian tunggu dan saksikan vlog saya akan bikin itu makanan dari Pita Semoga sukses Sekali lagi thank you so much Mace, thank you so much Travis, we really appreciate it Thank you so much Thanks, guys. God bless you God bless you and makin diberkati sama Tuhan banyak berkatnya. Thank you. The following day. Oke okay guys, jadi kalian lihat di sini sekarang Mister mau bikin meja ya. Meja yang akan ditaruh di belakang sofa. Tapi sepertinya ini terlalu tinggi. And it's too long. <laughs> I think it's too long, huh? Terlalu panjangin barang-barang guys. Oh my goodness. Jadi ini um, ini barang-barang apa namanya besi-besi. 
yang Mister pakai itu di luar ya untuk um, storage kemarin eh, yang biasa saya kasih lihat kalian di Instagram story itu ini yang Mister pakai. You you want me to help you? Is that lock? Is this lock? Oke. Okay. All right. Oke, okay, jadi ini. Oh, ya, yeah. I think I think it's too long, babe. Jadi ya, ini yang dia pakai untuk bikin storage di garage. Saya langsung bilang sama Mister, babe, sepertinya ini bagus bahannya untuk bikin meja ya. Dan dia punya bahan-bahan ini keren ya. Jadi nanti Mister taruh uh, kayu di atasnya sebagai tabletopnya. Terus ini besi-besi. Jadi ini akan keren sekali seperti, seperti modern industrial. Jadi akan keren sekali. Jadi saya bilang sama Mister, saya kasih ide dia bilang bagaimana kalau kau bikinkan kita furniture dari ini dan kayu mix. Langsung dia bilang Mister, oh iya iya betul betul. Nanti saya bikin. Eh tapi dia beli terlalu panjang guys. Nanti dia akan beli yang pendek lagi. Habis itu Mister akan taruh leg apa itu kakinya meja. It will look so good guys. Hmm. 24 hours later. Oke, okay, sekarang ini next day dan Mister baru pulang dari toko beli ini, guys. Ini sudah lebih pendek dari yang kemarin ya, yang kemarin panjang sekali. That one is fine right there. Yeah. Looks good. That looks good. Six and a half hours later. Jadi sekarang ini saya dalam proses untuk bikin black pepper beef. Jadi um, kalau misalnya kalian penggemar black pepper beef, tapi kalian tidak tahu cara masak, jangan khawatir guys. Pokoknya itu cara bikinnya gampang sekali. Saya akan bikin sekarang dan kalian akan takjub. Kalian akan bilang ternyata sangat mudah sekali dan gampang sekali. Oke, okay, by the way black pepper beef itu adalah um, sapi lada hitam ya. Jadi saya potong-potong dulu daging dan sebentar saya akan kembali lagi, oke? Okay? Jadi sudah selesai saya potong, sekarang kita akan bumbui guys. Apa saja bumbunya? Hmm, kalian tunggu, pokoknya gampang sekali. Jadi bumbu-bumbunya itu guys, kita pakai kecap, terus oyster sauce, um, sesame oil, black pepper, dan juga salt. Tapi kalau untuk salt, black pepper, dan juga sesame oil, kita taruh sedikit saja ya, yang penting ada. Jangan taruh terlalu banyak. Jadi di sini saya masak tidak pakai takaran ya, cuma pakai feeling guys. Seperti kalian tahu kan, kita orang Indonesia itu kalau masak tidak pakai takaran guys. Kita pakai feeling. <laughs> Jadi ditaruh sedikit-sedikit, oke? Okay? Oke okay guys, jadi semua bumbu-bumbu sudah ada di dalam. Jadi kita akan tinggalkan ini selama 30 menit sampai 1 jam. Semakin lama semakin bagus. Jadi mungkin 1 jam. Oke, okay, see you guys in one hour.
Tada! Sekarang ini sudah jadi guys. Kalian lihat ya sudah mulai agak kering. Oh, Kita akan iya. lihat Mister coba sebentar. Hmm. Semoga enak ya guys. Oh, Keep it though. Yeah, this is already done. Yeah, if you do it too much at all. Mister bilang kasih banyak banyak sedikit anunya. Jangan terlalu kering katanya. Which one of these is good? That one right there. Mister bilang jangan terlalu kering karena Mister kan suka sekali kalau dia berkuah kuah sedikit ya. Oke, okay, sepertinya ini sudah bagus ini. Ya, yeah, it's done. Ini sekarang Mister bikin onion ring. And Jadi, red and green bell pepper. Oh ya, yeah. ini juga. Uh, ini onion ring. Ini bell pepper, uh, red paprika. Ini um, paprika hijau. Ini paprika merah, guys. Dia semangat sekali bikin, guys ya. Oh, sekarang ke timun. Dia mau goreng juga ke timun. Ini jadinya enak sekali, guys. Coba kalian potong-potong kecil kalian punya ke timun atau ini uh, paprika merah hijau atau ini bawang bombay. Kalian potong-potong terus kalian campurkan ini dengan itu tadi bumbu saya kasih lihat kalian. Hmm, baru kalian goreng enak sekali And jadinya. This is April's secret recipe. Ya, yeah, kalian dengar itu semua ketawa tuh tapi kalian tidak curiga. So good. Mm -hmm. If we told you, we'd have to kill you. Ento, <laughs> <laughs> dia semangat sekali, guys. Tapi saya pura-pura namu ketawa tadi toh, karena nanti dia curiga. Itu di belakang itu barang-barang. Pas lihat dia punya bumbu banyak yang tidak akan lolos dengan dia punya kriteria. Jadi kalau saya bilang ini, saya beli, dia kan harus baca itu komposisi. Kalau dia baca komposisi, dia tidak akan sama sekali tertarik untuk makan, guys. Jadi saya pura-pura bilang saya yang bikin. And aren't they pretty? Like you got green, you got red, you got the yellow. Yeah. When you beautiful. put that with your food, like when it looks, oh yeah, the way it's gonna look alongside Ooh. that, man, that's like a sexy meal right there. Sexy meal. Sexy. <laughs> so how do you think about my butter? Okay. Sepulo. Padahal dia tidak tahu bahwa dia sedang ditipu. Fried green and red or any color bell peppers is already delicious. But with this batter, mm -hmm. man, next level. So tasty. Kalian semua jangan sampai cari gara-gara ya. Kalian jangan sebarkan dan jangan kasih tau Mister bahwa saya menipu dia, guys. And it makes the best onion rings. Enak sekali, betul guys, betul. And Look at all this. Mm. Mm. Lihat ini, guys. Ah, smells so good. Ini adalah bikinan saya lo, guys. Mm. I made this from scratch. Mwah. If your kids don't like to eat vegetables, you do this, you have no problem getting your kids to eat vegetables. Tastes like Indonesia. Yeah. Mm, it's so yummy. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Here, Mr. Adam, there's a bottle that they're sending to us. Thank you. My favorite. Thank you, Mace. This Mr. suka sekali, guys. Bukan cuma Mr. Saya juga suka. Orang juga suka. Tapi Atina juga suka, ya. Kalian lihat itu, guys. Ketimun Mr. Goreng. Campur dengan itu tadi. Bumbu Kobe, ya. Why is your batter so yummy? What? Why is your batter so yummy? I don't know. I put love on it. <laughs> I put love. I mix it with love. That kind of scares me now. No! <laughs> what, did you, what did you put in it? Love! Love! Pure love! What's that thing you always talked about in Indonesia? I remember? Not like a few months after I was in Indonesia for the first time, you always told me like... We, we go get like bakso and it was the, the broth was so tasty. Uh -huh. You're like, oh, in Indonesia, a lot of these people, you know, at these, you know, these shops, you know, they they have like this little creature in it, like pisses, tuyul, tuyul, it pisses in the stuff to make it like tuyul. Did you do you have one of those little creatures pissing this? Yeah, right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Tuyul. 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 Yeah. One of Indonesia's many creature, many <coughs> weird things. Yeah, but that's that, that's true though. There's it's a lot just, of things about Indonesia that are weird but true. 
Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's like. But I don't know about that one. That one's. No, Tuyul is bad. Tuyul is real. Tell if, them if to comment real, down there. It's some kind of like little demon thing. Yeah. Beb, ask them. And I, I'm sorry, but I don't want a demon pissing in my box. So comment down below if you believe in the. To you. To you. So you don't believe that? No, I don't. You don't? I definitely don't. I've heard of a lot of weird things and that 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 takes the cake. I think. <laughs> That's, How about Parakang? How about Parakang? Do you believe that Parakang stuff? The logical person in me says, "How could something like that even be physically possible? Even for like a disembodied spirit or something like that? Mm -hmm. That's pretty odd. Like the head and torso <laughs> just like separates from the body and flies. Or I don't know. There's you said that people have sworn that they've seen it. My grandpa see. My grandpa's dad see. Like I don't know. That's you weird. you can believe that? That's weird. So you don't believe in Paraka? You don't buy that story? No. 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 I just don't want to waste the batter. It's just so good. Kalian let ito guys. This amangat skali kasian. Let's let's try fried broccoli. Beb, abe. Dia saking suka nya. Dia fry semuanya ya. Saya takut besok besok dia sepatu goreng ya. Dia goreng juga dia punya sepatu. I'm obsessed with your batter. Kalian lihat di sini, biar brokoli dia goreng. Ini adalah kebohongan terbesar saya ya. Yang saya tidak tahu bagaimana saya ini mengutarakannya kepadanya untuk ber, berusaha berkata jujur suatu saat nanti, guys. Kalau besok ini dia bilang bikin lagi saya yang saya mati ini bagaimana saya saya bikin sedangkan ini aduh <laughs> bumbu jadi terpaksa ini, guys. Saya suruh lagi saya punya mama kirim dari Indonesia. <laughs> So what, other, what other little creature things and myths are in Indonesia? Um, Pochong. Gendrua. The Gendrua is like a big guy, has a red eyes, and his skin green, his hair long. The, the jolly green giant? No, not jelly green giant. <laughs> no, I remember that one. This was one of the more interesting stories that you ah. told me. A couple years ago, you were talking to somebody and then... The guy went on like some school trip in some far off region of Indonesia mm -hmm. and went to this village and then at nighttime the people would the whole all the people in that village would like transform into like this creature. Remember when he came up the thing and he said he saw them like on the side of the wall? What? Remember that story? That's, that that's Parakang, that's Parakang, Popo, Popo, right? Popo, ya. Yeah. Kalian pernah dengar tidak, guys? Itu cerita bahwa di satu kampung di Indonesia, di daerah Sulawesi, tapi saya kurang tahu Sulawesi apa, guys. Tapi di salah satu kampung di Sulawesi itu, ada namanya kampung Parakang, guys. Jadi satu warga itu semua Parakang. Apakah kalian pernah dengar dan apakah kalian percaya, guys? Ya. Yeah. That's Parakang, the whole entire village. That was uh, that was an interesting story. Iya. Yeah. Jadi itu keceritanya guys, ini anak-anak yang KKN atau mereka itu kerja di mana? Terus mereka punya proyek untuk bangun apa di desa itu? Tapi ternyata itu semua satu kampung Parakang semua guys ya. Tapi untungnya ini anak-anak mereka kita rasa dulu nih, mereka, eh, Mister punya ketimun. Tapi untungnya itu mereka tinggal di rumahnya ketua RT, pokoknya sebagai yang ter 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 apa itu terpandang di situ ya jadi pas semua monster monster motor ke mereka ini ketua RT bilang jangan karena mereka ketemu saya oke saya makan dulu nih am nyam 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 people say Bigfoot isn't real but I am one of the few people I was literally 16 feet away from one and there was no mistaking it it was at night time but I I had a red filter over my flashlight and there was enough light coming from it I mean And there was three other people with me. We all saw it. It got up, turned to the left, and walked into the woods. And then there was other ones in there, and they all kind of met up and went away. But I, I know for a fact Bigfoot are real. Um, if they can exist, you know, here in Michigan we have a thing called the Dogman. It's uh, kind of like Bigfoot, but a wolf. Uh huh. And, and it's human, hey? But they're humanoid. Him, he, you know, humanoid. They, they can walk on two feet. They're pretty mean. The Native American Indians 
were afraid of them because they were very aggressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they say uh, they're not to be messed with. They're Bigfoot's very, still very friendly, intelligent, yeah. very cunning. Yeah. So, I mean, things like that exist. You know, that would be considered paranormal. I think a lot of different countries, Indonesia is no exception. Um, there's going to be strange things. Yeah. So I believe some of it, at, at least the possibility of it. Iya, jadi di sini guys ada yang namanya creature itu Bigfoot ya itu kayak monyet. Nanti saya taruh gambarnya di sini. Pokoknya Bigfoot. Tapi banyak orang yang percaya bahwa itu nyata guys. Tapi banyak juga yang percaya. Dan Mister itu hari pergi investigasi sama dia punya teman. Karena dia tergabung di apa namanya itu? Biefaro, ya? Biefaro. Biefaro. Dia salah satu tim di situ juga. Mereka pergi cari-cari di sekitar sekitaran sini dan mereka tiga orang melihat itu guys. Tidak terlalu jelas tapi itu matanya guys besar begini. Dan itu dibawa sekali katanya guys. Seperti dia jongkok kan. Pas Mister mendekat dengan pakai uh, what kind of uh, what kind of flashlight you use? Regular one or red? Just, I, I honestly when we went out that night it was 2000 2010 mm -hmm. about a quarter to 11 at night. Uh, it was a BFRO Expo, Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization, and uh, I was kind of ill-prepared. I wasn't expecting to see one, so I brought my crappy flashlight. Mm -hmm. I was in a hurry to get out there, and it's just a small little tiny flashlight with not much power to it, and I had a red filter over it because if you're out there and you, if you shine a bright light in their eyes, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of... Expos that people have been on where uh, they did that and they weren't happy. Um, so I, I decided to put a red filter out over it. And uh, I'm walking every so many feet as I'm walking, I'd put it up like this, you know. And I'm just, you know, I'm talking to my friend and I'm just walking, shining it up and down every so many steps. And then finally, I, I put my flashlight up. And I caught these two gigantic eyes about that big, about that far apart. And they were like amber colored. I think they were reflecting the light of my thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. But they were huge and I could see them blinking. And I was like, guys, guys, you know, I grabbed the other three. I'm like, hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. Look at this, look at this. And it was low. It was like this. Like probably maybe about that high off the ground mm -hmm. between two trees. And I was like, I got something. And at that time, I was probably only about 20, 22 feet away from it, if that. So the others came over, and we were all looking at it, and they're like, what is that? And I'm like, I'm going through my head. I'm like, I know wildlife really good. If it's a bear, usually any animal is going to take off long before you even get there. But if it's a bear and you catch it by surprise, it's going to do one of three things. It's either going to chatter its teeth, it's going to grunt or it's going to stomp its feet on the ground. That's what they do if you know, let you know, hey, I don't like that you're here. Mm -hmm. You're in my my area. Move away. Mm -hmm. But it didn't do any of that. If it was a moose, uh, again, it would have been gone as soon as it heard us coming down the road because we were talking. But it, it didn't. Uh, and if it was also a moose, you know, there's the possibility that it would charge us and they didn't do that either. So all this stuff's going through my mind. I'm like, well, those are the only really big animals that we have out here. And it's just sitting there staring at us and I didn't take my light off of it. And it didn't really like my light. Every time I had it on its right in its face, it would go like that. And then I'd move it over and it would move its head like this. I'm like... It's intelligent. Wow, okay, this is intelligent. It doesn't yeah. like the light right in its face. Yeah. So then I was like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up on it. I'm gonna see what it does. I took about six steps in. I was probably about 15, 16 feet away from it at that time when I it kind of comes off the road, it drops down a little bit. And I didn't know that it dropped down because the, the grass was like that high. Mm -hmm. So when I saw it like this, the grass was like right here. I mean, it was it was smart. Mm -hmm. It was bending down. Probably knew that we were coming and it, they were watching us. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I stepped and I kind of fell down in that little gully, mm -hmm. it went like this. It stood up. And I came up and I put my light back on it in just enough time where I, I followed it going like this. 
And my light moved, and at that point, I looked back at everybody, and everybody's like, what are we seeing right now? And I just, I kept my light on. I was kind of shaking, because I was like, it's real. Holy crap, because it's real. This is the first, ex I always knew that they could exist, but at that point, I'm a see it to believe it kind of person. You know, I, if I'm going to be 100% positive and sure that something is real, I need to, I need to see it, I need to experience it. And I've heard noises in the woods, I've found, we found footprints, all, all this stuff, but I've never seen one. And here I am looking at one. And at that point, I was closer and I could see the eyes. I saw the silhouette. I mean, its head was probably like up here. I mean, my light was like this going up. I could see the silhouette of its head and its shoulders and probably like that, like that broad. Oh, God. That was massive, massively broad. I could see the silhouette and I could see that it was like a a really like really healthy black hair like you know when you see like an animal yeah a bear or a dog with you know really brilliant uh reflective black hair it's yeah. usually you know got good nutrition it's healthy and i could see i could see the reflection of some of the hair on the shoulders especially mm. it was really like dark black and it just stood there for a second and then it just went like this i could see it kind of dropped down a little bit and then it casually walked away into the woods and then as it was doing that going further back we heard other ones about you know 20 30 feet over moving towards it they were all converging to each other so at that point we knew not only is there one right here but there was like three more because we could hear them you know when you're walking bipedally on two feet you know you know the sound especially if you if you're familiar with wildlife you know the sounds of certain animals that are walking through the woods you know especially if it's four legs to two legs it makes us you know really definitive sound mm -hmm. and it was doing that and then we heard at least three more over here all converging to it that's the mom mind, and then the kids were just blown. so then we lost sight of them we, we went on with the expedition for the rest of the night we came back to camp we sat around the fire, we told everybody what had happened, we, we camped out over the night. In the morning, I said, hey guys, we need to go over there, we need to check that spot out. So we did, and what I found was, is, and I got pictures of this too, there was a huge area in the grass, 16 feet off the road, right between those two trees, completely flat, flat down to the ground. And then there was a little path that went to the left, right where I said it walked, mm -hmm. and there was two pine trees about that round. One right here, one right here, and then there was a bunch of thick other, you know, pine trees and spruce trees, and it was, it was really thick in there. Mm -hmm. But the, between these, these two trees was like the best corridor to get from the, the, the dirt road into the woods. Mm -hmm. And there's apple trees and all that stuff back there, but what was interesting, is on the inside of the trees, about nine to 10 feet up, were all broke off. So all the branches on the other side mm -hmm. were all still there, but all the branches on the inside were all tore off. So it must have been using that corridor often, where it would come from the other side of the road in the woods, cross, go right through that corridor, so it didn't have to go through the, the thick brush, mm -hmm. and then, you know, going to the woods towards, you know, there's this kind of marshy and swampy back there, which is what they like. And uh, got pictures of that too. I mean, really good evidence. It just solidified in my mind that these creatures are, are real. They are very real. They've been here for a long time. Kita akan ambil videonya sedikit saja, mencoba ini makanan, tapi tidak semuanya. Karena saya mau kasih makan anak-anak ya, dan saya juga mau makan, guys. Karena kalau kamera on itu saya paling tidak bisa sekali kalau tidak bicara, guys. Sedangkan kalau saya makan itu saya paling tidak suka kalau bicara karena saya mau konsentrasi. Jadi sekarang kita akan minta pendapatnya Mister, kita lihat dia bilang apa. Oke, okay. try Mister. Ya. Tidak boleh bohong ya, tidak boleh bohong. You have to give a honest review. Don't feel bad. Well, I'm seeing some shift in your first Just be honest. Do you remember that, that restaurant we always went to in the mall in Central City? 
Yeah, the of course. Camel. Of course, that's your favorite restaurant. They had the best black pepper beef. Mm -hmm. This is much better. Oh. No lie. So good. The sauce tastes better. Ooh, la 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 la. Mama know how to cook now. Mami Liu. Mami Liu. <laughs> Once you've had Indonesian food and you go without it for so many months, like I can't. I need to have Indonesian food. <laughs> Don't you remember the first time you... Best Indonesian food. Period. Yeah. Kalian dengar itu Mister bilang apa Indonesia food adalah makanan Asia terenak. Yay! Suatu komplement yang sangat bagus guys. By the way, did you remember when the very first time you are in you were in Indonesia? You didn't even want to give a chance. That's why you keep always eat KFC. KFC, you know why? KFC. Because a lot of the places that you would kind of take me to, you see, were like like rinky dinky like <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't even like <laughs> restaurants on wheels, you know, a little yeah, cars yeah, yeah. on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, hey, let's get this tempeh. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And they got like, you know, fish and meatballs. And I'm just, I'm thinking, okay. I don't want to die of severe diarrhea while I'm here. Which <laughs> you did, happened. almost, I, I got, yeah. I got food poisoning twice. Twice. I almost died. And I almost died both times. Mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure it was both from pizza. Americans, yeah. Is that yeah. Real? Um, Probably. F yeah. Yeah. Food poison. Bad. Yeah. But a lot. You go to a lot of the restaurants, and then you're you're looking yeah, through the menu, and I'm seeing like entire fish with everything on it. You know, in America, we're used to eating fish fillets. You know, like nice and clean. You know, we don't eat the skin. We don't eat. You know, all that other stuff. And you know, I I know that a lot of fish that they sell over there are farmed fish which try to stay away from because it's you know dirty conditions and and uh and whatnot but yeah that, that kind of turned me off and that's why you don't want and i wasn't you even sure about some of the food and i didn't know about their sanitary conditions and especially after i got that severe food poisoning I was like, man, what the heck am I gonna eat? Yeah, I yeah, thought, I thought pizza would be safe. It looked like a pizza hut, kind of, but. Man, yeah, it's little, different kind of pizza. Yeah. Mister suka sekali gado-gado, tapi dia tidak suka karena cara pengemasan itu dipegang pakai tangan telanjang, guys. Dia shock waktu dia orang pengen-pengen itu sayur terus. Dia shock, like, aduh, mana ini makanan kesukaanku lagi? Indonesia. For the love of God, please. <laughs> Stop! If you're making gado gado, <laughs> put some gloves on each time. Okay, it's a small investment. So what? It's gonna make the customers happy. And it's gonna bring more customers in. Because believe me, even in Indonesia, if people know that you're cooking things in a clean, sanitary way, you're gonna get a ton more business. But I go to this place that her mom brought us to. Said they had the best gado gado. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting there. I'm watching. Takes her bare hand, <laughs> takes everything out, puts it on the thing, goes to the next jar, puts it in, doing that, puts it back in there, puts it in there, mixes it up, puts the sauce on there. I'm like, man, how can, how can I eat that? Like, that's so disgusting. So, like, don't prepare people's food. Like that. Like when we go to the meatball place now, remember? Yeah, yeah. They always, whenever they see us, they, they take either plastic or they have plastic yeah. gloves. And then they would grab the, you know, krupuk and the meatball and then they would put it in the, the soup. Yeah. That's a smart thing to do. Yeah. Hopefully now after this whole COVID thing, people are going to wake up and be like, okay, you know, let's buy some gloves or just get some plastic. Cheap investment. You know, make make customers happy. Show them that we're doing. We take pride in what we're making, what we're serving the customer, and that we're you know prepping it uh, with sanitary, healthy conditions. Mm -hmm. Like man, I almost died in Indonesia twice. Twice, <laughs> yeah. So yummy. One to ten. Oh, ten. Ten. Easy ten. Easy ten. Okay. Then you gotta close the vlog. Say bye bye, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.
<laughs> April's uh, a good little cook now. You gotta try. Make your own batter and fry red or green bell peppers. They're better than fried onions. So good. Then jangan lupa kalau kalian mau goreng seperti itu langsung beli saja bumbu kobe. Bye bye. Have a good day or have a good night. Have a good evening, everybody. God bless you. Saya sekarang mau pergi makan dulu enak-enak dan saya juga mau kasih makan anak-anak. Karena kalau saya makan itu tiga piring di depan saya guys. Satu suap saya punya mulut, mulutnya orang dan Atina. Okay. So bye. Good night, guys. Bye.